Hi everyone, in this video, we will discuss 10 new project ideas using ASP8266 that you can try. So, let's get started. Do you often forget where you kept your door keys last time? Or maybe, you don't like taking the keys with you on the go? Then you must try this automated door lock that uses an ASP8266 and a JDY23 Bluetooth Low Energy Module. This lock lets you operate your door, even when you are not present at home. The door lock wakes up from its 200 microamp standby by a Pi or a smartphone within 200 microseconds. It runs on a battery and since the overall energy consumption of the device is low, the battery can power the door lock for up to 6 months. You can even use this device as a switch bot, with only two servos. What better things can you do with it? Tell us in the comments. Are you also tired of closing all the curtains in the evening, and then opening them all again in the morning? Then try this Alexa-controlled curtain automation system. The process to build this starts with a 3D design and these basic components. Once set up, you can also add routines in Alexa to have your curtains work in tandem with other devices in your house. For example, Alexa can close the curtains on the public side of your house 15 minutes before sunset, thus she keeps up with the seasons automatically. You could also program a routine to prepare a room for movie night by closing the curtains, turning on the television, and dimming the lights. So, isn't it a great project to turn your house into a smart house? Tell us in the comments. When someone rings the doorbell, sometimes we are too far away from our door to reach there. Or, we are busy doing some regular household work. In that case, wouldn't it be easy that somehow, we could notify the person with a message without actually going there? This project can solve the above problem for you. As the doorbell rings, the ASP8266 gets triggered. You can then send a message to the hyperpixel display attached to the main door by pressing any of the three buttons in a remote box. The program sends out an MQTT message which is then picked up by the Raspberry Pi which displays it on the screen. Thus, the person standing at the door may get your predefined message without you being present there. If you love gaming projects then this one is for you. This is a duck hunt game. This project is built on a breadboard with an ASP8266, 1i2c OLED display, some push buttons, resistors, and connecting wires. If the huge board gives a problem during gameplay, you can play the game in the alternate version of the setup. The aim of the game is simple. You just have to shoot the ducks to gain points. The bigger ducks will give you fewer points while shooting the smaller ducks gives you more points. The duration of this game is 1 minute, so gain more points within this time to achieve a high score. Do you want to level up your game of PCB design by working on high-level PCB projects? Or need features like remote working, advanced 3D viewing capability, and AMCAD? If yes then you must check out Altium Designer. Altium provides functions for users with all levels of experience and requirements. And before subscribing to Altium, you can use its free trial version by clicking on the link given in the description below. Nanoleaf lights are a great way to decorate your house. But due to their high cost, we often drop that idea. So, if you also feel the same, then create your own panels by following this project. They give a stylish glow out across the wall in the evenings and the panels themselves are bright enough to be seen in the daytime. You can assemble the panels in any arrangement to suit your personal space. The smarts for the project are all housed in the small rectangular panel at the bottom. They can also be programmed to automatically mimic a Philips Hue bulb or respond to Alexa commands. Amazon's Alexa voice assistant service allows you to control the color, brightness and toggle the panels on and off with your voice. This option also allows you to further integrate it into other services such as IFTT's routines. The Rasta Lamborghini Aventador is a battery-powered ride-on toy that works on 6 volts. The 12 volts retrofit required the use of a new electric motor, a 12 volts 7 amps rechargeable lead-acid battery, and a robust 43 amps H-bridge motor driver. Those upgrades decreased the time it took to traverse 10 feet from a glacial 4.45 seconds to a blistering 1.60 seconds. The Rasta Aventador uses a one-wheel drive system, so to tackle the wheel slip problem, a clever traction control system is designed that works by comparing the spin of the driven wheel to the spin of the free wheel. The rotation of the wheels is monitored by optocouplers and an ASP8266 checks their output. If wheel slippage is detected, the power output is reduced to regain traction. So, 
That's how you modify your child's old toys without throwing them away. Using this project, you can make a smart lock for your room or office. There are three ways to open this door. The first is using an IR sensor placed on the inside. The components are placed inside a small box while the IR sensor's LED stick out through holes in the side. The second method is through a web app by which you can operate the door from anywhere with an internet connection. It is a web page with some JavaScript that sends commands to the web server created on the microcontroller. And the third, and the best way is using a secret knock on the door. The piezo transducer detects the vibrations on the door. As any person knocks on the door in the same manner is stored in the secret code, the door opens, else it remains closed. So, isn't it an effective way to keep intruders away? What do you think? This is a Wi-Fi controlled robot that can be controlled in either of the following ways on a Blink app. Using button control you can move the robot using four buttons, a slider control mode lets you control the motor on either side of the robot. In accelerometer mode, the acceleration and deceleration in a particular direction vary as per the degree of tilting while in the joystick mode, the robot is free to move in any direction. This robot can also be controlled via voice commands. It uses Google Assistant, Adafruit.io, and the IFTTT platform to control the robot via voice. After saying one of the configured commands in the Google Voice Assistant app, these commands are translated into a message and transmitted to Adafruit.io. The robot then receives these commands and follows the particular instruction. Our next project is a humanoid robot that has got some cool features up its sleeve. A humanoid robot resembles the shape of a human body and is used in research, education, healthcare, entertainment, and more. This robot performs some advanced movements like saying hi, shaking hands, doing a bow, in addition to walking and sitting. The upgraded version of this robot can even respond to the voice commands and interact with the user. What is your name? Here is the circuit diagram of the humanoid robot that gives us an idea of the working of the robot. So, by adding a PAM8403 audio amplifier and a speaker you can turn any ordinary robot into a cool interactive one. This space animation looks cool, right? But, the animation of Batman and Robin running together is even cooler. If not, then there are more such animations, which you may like. You can easily design and display your favorite animations. All these animations are made from GIF files. Just find your favorite GIF file and resize it. After that, split the GIFs into frames and then convert each frame to a text file which can be read by the ASP module. Data are stored in a two-dimensional array, and each pixel takes two bytes of space. Although these animations are running on ASP32 modules, they can run smoothly on an ASP8266 module. So, what's your favorite GIF that you want to display on a TFT display? Tell us in the comments. So, we hope you loved these ASP8266 projects. Tell us your favorite one in the comments. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. If you also have some amazing projects with you, do share them with us. Thanks for watching.